and the St Kilda football clubs invite you to join the coaches, players and umpires as we honour the Anzacs and all those men and women who gave their lives in service of their country. Our thoughts too are with those currently on active service. Would you please be upstanding and remove your hats for the Anzac observance. Telephone party present arms. Telephone party reverse. Telephone party slow. Party! Halt! Telephone party! Outwards! Turn! Telephone party! Press down! To join us on this occasion, we welcome President of the Returned and Services League, ACT branch, John King, to recite the ode. They shall grow not old, as we that are left grow old. Age shall not weary them, nor the years condemn. At the going down of the sun, and in the morning, we will remember them. Telephone party, attention! Telephone party, present arms! Thank you. 
Lest we forget. Would you please remain standing for the Australian national anthem to be performed by Sergeant Jennifer Cook? It's a very, very special and touching pre-game, and I don't think you get any better than that. That'll be played across the weekend. A privilege to be a part of this round of footy, that's for sure. Boys, Giants, St Kilda, Friday night footy, Monica Oval, Brett Ratton, slow out of the blocks with these Saints, and they've rattled home now. Let's get to the big nights. I want to start. I'm going to kick us off, because I've got a massive opinion of Lockie Whitfield. I think he is almost as important to this footy side as Toby Green is, and I think the way he uses the footy, his run and carry and dare... They want to get the ball into his hands at every single opportunity they can. And he's been off, there's no question. Absolutely. The last three or four weeks, uh, I'm, I don't know for sure, but I reckon he's carrying some sort of an injury because his work rate is unconditional. He just runs and runs and runs until he can't run anymore. In the last few weeks, he hasn't been able to do it. I'm hoping tonight he is because his ball carry and his ability to hit a target inside 50 along with Josh Kelly, super important to the point that you made earlier. So for me, big night for Lockie Whitfield to get this back on track for the, for the GWS Giants. Re reflective of the Giants midfield this year goes with the exception of Tom Green, I think. So you're right, he needs to lift uh, another midfielder for the GWS, more the stopper. Lockie Ash, big night for him, uh, Gaz. Did the job on Tuk Miller a couple of weeks ago. Interesting uh, uh, match-up last week. He decided to go out in the wing yep, and play Langdon. Langdon. Who does he go to tonight? I think he goes for Brad Hill. I think Brad Hill's been the, uh, the match winner for uh, St Kilda in the last few weeks. So that'll be interesting to see. Brad Hill plays half forward, all of a sudden Ash is a half backer. Yep, you can probably manipulate a little bit then. What about you, Ed? Big night for who? Uh, I was going to pick a big forward, Rue, but I'm surrounded by big forwards. So I've got to stick true to myself. I'm going to go small forward and Dan Butler. Uh, you know, Jack Higgins kick. Five goals last week. I think it's uh, Dan, um, Dan Butler's turn this week. He's number two in the AFL for four and a half turnovers. So as a small forward, you need to bring the pressure. You need to uh, keep it in the forward half, and you know the goals will come after that. So I think a big night for him. Turnover differential game for St Kilda is in really good shape. That becomes a really big part of it. Rui, who is the big night for? Well, we just saw Jacob Mollison, the senior umpire of the night, on screen there. He's got a couple of junior burgers with him. It's a big night for those boys too. They've been in the press all week. These guys tonight, we always see it. Friday night mm. footy sets yes. the agenda for the weekend. So the first one that is faced with the players, arms out in, in a non-aggressive manner. What, is, what does he do? It does won't happen. It? it won't happen tonight. A player won't do it? It will not happen. Oh, Gary. Straight away. Yeah. Yeah. Gee, you're confident. I'm playing yeah. disrespect straight away. Yeah. Uh, junior burgers. 50 oh, minutes. Come on, <laughs> come on <laughs> mate. Be cutting that What's out? going on? <laughs> I th I, well, certainly from what we heard from Brett Ratton, he would have laid the yeah. um, law down to his yep. players. And listen, I just think, I, I'm not preaching at all. I just think we've got to get behind this. I don't necessarily agree with it. I know you don't, and some of us are stronger than that. But this is what it is. We know the reasoning behind it, so let's get behind and support it. Uh, there's a couple of big what-ifs too. Marshall in, into the ruck, really important. Gresham's been outstanding. Bruce, I mean, he owes them. Bruce owes he his does. footy side. Yep. He, he, he made a horrible decision a couple of weeks ago, got suspended. He's got to play within the boundaries. Yeah, he does, because I think Marshall's been fantastic. Uh, Bruce, along with Flynn, who was pretty good against Jackson in the Gorn last week, really. So, big job for those boys tonight. Is that Toby in the centre square? Have we seen Toby Green in the centre square there? 
Yes, love, he is. He's in there. Yeah. Love to see him in there, but they be prepared. He's going to charge forward. Yeah, he's going to get forward really aggressively. Uh, there's a lot to like about this. Green and King and a whole host of others. We're going to enjoy this one. We'll see you at quarter time. Good bounce to Bruce first hand. A little one for the Saints. Wood parked underneath it. Wobbles its way to half forward here for GWS. And Howard read it pretty well. Touch ball, though, long. Has got to control that. Sinclair having a fantastic year. Steel, end on end. Higgins underneath it. Taylor outsizing him. Butler now to hard ball to win and a free kick's picked out. Yeah, Tom Green coming in very strongly there. A little bit head high. So Butler with the ball. Immediately forward. Good looking ball to memory. Marked out in front and did very well in front of Haynes. There's the target ahead. Fair way to go. King is the man in form down here. Long ball, Marshall there as well. Off hands it comes and almost Higgins. BT, there's a little bit of Toby watch. As soon as he took that first centre bounce, he's just bolted forward. Didn't quite get on the end of it, but almost got a front and square. And that would have been because they would have planned for him to go forward, you'd think, in this lineup. So it just throws the match up when so much of the planning would have gone into him. Start at centre bounce, then that player's standing there thinking, where is he? Two big boys in Bruce and Marshall. And Marshall drags it free. Can I just jump out, please? Yeah. Very out. careful with the arms, yeah, the players. To be. Let's have a look at this. Here's the hold. We're going to see a lot of head shakes, oh, I think, mind. BT. Yes. <laughs> you can see a clear grab of the jumper, and that's what the freeze for. 15 seconds. <laughs> a lot of clapping. <laughs> so Rowan Marshall with a really good look at the Saints first on Friday Night Football. Through it goes. So that's a good start. Holding free. The big Ruckman hits the scoreboard. Good result, Saints. This is a, a mistake from Ruckman that they just don't need to do. It's a, it was a clearly a fistful of jumper there, but when you're in a body out, it's not as if he was in a bad position. And sometimes you're better off just, there's a little bit of a reaction, a bit of disappointment. I thought he held it. They I went to go out. Well. But with that, if you're going to lose a tape, you can lose a tape. You don't give away a free kick when you're out of position or something so close to goal. Umpires tonight, Justin Power, Alex Wetton and Jacob Mollison in charge here is Jacob. We go again. That far wing out there starting to fill. Interesting marquee out there on the wing too. We'll talk about that shortly. Right, Marshall tackle. got met Thank high, so it'll go against Bruce and Bruce uncertain what's going on now. Marshall dominating here. Long deep ball. Got it to the one-on-one. -on -one. They get back in numbers. Taylor's fist missed, missed the ball completely. Kennedy, cool. Got a bender around the corner. Got to go here. And what an attempt that was. Couldn't quite get it forward. And the tackle dispossessing by Long over the line on Canelio. Might be a dangerous tackle, I think, there, BT. So Canelio standing. will end up with the ball at half back here for the Giants. Goes in the Bruce and Marshall direction. They can't hang on. And the ball is over. Gee. That's the free. Gee, JB, that's, I thought, polite. Careful. Ball in on the wing. Marshall has started this game well. Kelly with good hands. Ward wants to bite off the corridor. Did that well. Perryman. He can fan it across the other side. And Haynes has run hard. Callahan, a good young boy, just misses with the kick. It's that ward kick to Perryman where you need the runner to come through off half back to put speed on the ball. They then had to go another one sideways. And now they're just in similar position, other side of the ground. Gives the opposition defence to just slide across. Cruz finally gets hands to the footy. No, 
St Kilda really hunting the footy at the moment. But if you want to speed up ball movement, it's that first one inside the corridor that you need a, a runner coming through. So there's a bit of an appeal, but then he goes, oh, didn't mean that. It's part of my natural presentation as Ross bangs it on the boot and goes forward. It's Haynes. I think with that rule, there's been so much discussion on it this week. It's, it simply has to be demonstrative in an aggressive fashion towards the umpire. You, you can't pay stuff where it's a general conversation. People use their hands to talk. Here is coming, knocked away by Wilkie, long front and centre. Gresham, beautiful pick up off his laces, looking for the overlap, got it in Butler. Good centering, dangerous ball. Higgins, memory, makes sure he goes back and kicks the set shot. That was just great team defence by St Kilda. They took an intercept mark across half back GWS. They switched the ball as all teams try and do. But St Kilda defensively, defensively were excellent to squeeze across five Pick goals in their fourth half. Five goals, two last week. In he comes. He really tried to overkick that, and he has missed. Just a simple case of trying to kick it too hard from Higgins. Had a ripper week last week. In fact, he's had a good year other than really round one. Just an awkward ball drop, that. Chased the drip ball drop, didn't he? Yeah. I think he's better off to go around the corner there too, Jack Higgins. Straight down the middle, some aggression with the ball movement here for the Giants. Good mark, Bruce. Quick release here for Kelly. And he goes long and direct. Iden at the back, hands to it, couldn't hang on. Ross with a firm tackle on a ball up. Connor Iden uh, started on the bench, but he's pushed forward and he's resetting as a forward here for the Giants so that's a switch highly unusual Bruce down nicely to Cornelio flick now to Callahan and the short one's not gone far enough Whitfield just outside the range maybe pulls the kick a little and out of play. That's an interesting pickup, Dave, because he's played most of his footy. I think he played all but one game last year yeah. in defence. Devel right. Developing Here good goes. defender. But I reckon that would just be to inject a bit of speed and pressure at ground level, which is an area for the Giants that, that they need a bit of lift in. No Ruckman got hand on the ball there. A lot of players around it here. Not going to come out. We'll deal through the umpire again. Yes, this is where St Kilda have really flooded that stoppage. you got three Brandon extras Brown. in and around the ball. Marshall. Little handball eventually comes out. I think Webster got a good piece of it and cleared the danger zone, but Ash is going to bring it back, and he does with a low ball in. Finds Whitfield. Now Higgins perhaps Put him down after he marked it, and Whitfield goes wide to Haynes. He can play on if he wishes, elects not to, but he's going to be kicking from a long way out. Little bit of breeze perhaps helping him over his shoulder there. High ball, top of the square, dangerous ball. Himmelberg was there. Off hands it comes out the back door, and a minor score. BT, it's all good and well having so many numbers down there, but if you let a few sit out and you get that quick surge from the stoppage, you're going to kick it straight to the GWS spares behind the ball. Sinclair finds battle. And he'll go back to Sinclair. Hill had run hard for him. Decides to bash it further down the line. Memory now met solidly. Keefe did well. Ward needs the support of Kelly. Couldn't work his way through traffic. Have they bought themselves some pressure here, the Giants? Ball up. Did really well, Keefe. He was actually about 30 metres away from where the the eventual contest landed and he, he, his direct opponent King he had to leave him to go and impact so good courage Crouch McKenzie no 15, play out. Kelly play heard the call out. Sinclair no prior now he'll need to make an attempt and that's what happens if you don't so this will be a Whitfield free on the bottom here they need to move the ball quickly it's been one of the criticisms of the Giants slow movement of the footy Short little ball to Bruin. So Play Tanner on. Bruin now inside the square. Perfect point to distribute. Goes long. High ball on the head of Himmelberg once again. Marshall had to go in and got underneath. And Bobby Hill got him a little high. High tackle. Thank you. Time back on. Stan. Crisp night in Canberra. Turn. Marshall. Stan. 
Good wide ball. Methodically get it out of defence. Crouch. Sinclair, quick release pattern. You can hear the touch ball call, so it's now broken footy. Membry broke the tackle. Out the back, Higgins. Second of the night for the Saints. Broke through. The forward pressing defence of the Giants and Higgins, as he loves to do, found his way out the back. See Membry on the same page as Patton. As soon as he saw him take off with the ball, he sort of ran away from him, knowing he was just going to surge it forward. Big contest win for him and Higgins. See it all unfolding. Knew there were good numbers at the contest. He just pushed forward, trusted his teammates to win it and, and get it forward to him. Even that ball, he kicked severely right off the boot as well. Get one on there straight. Kelly, the extraction. Tom Green. Incorrect disposal. Gresham from 52 out. A low ball. Keith got back and King with a hand on it. Important member Gresham playing some great footy this year for the Saints. St Kilda's intensity early just defensively. They're moving the ball quite well with it but defensively they're not giving GWS much room to move. Coming. Short one to Kennedy. Gets it back and the overlap run. Ash coming has kept coming and then high and long Taranto battle good big fly nice and sharp early the Saints Hill corridor ball for Higgins and then Hayes has got out the back GWS has just got to defend that better. As soon as Battle takes that mark, you can't leave Bradley Hill out on the wing all by himself. It's an easy exit kick. They've moved the ball coast to coast with no pressure on them at all. Uh, hitting the scoreboard in 2022, the Saints 496 points coming into this season after five rounds. Their best since 2009. And all Saints fans in the U know what happened that year. That's what's ahead of Hayes. Just not quite going to get there. Oh, Taylor thumps it in. Of course, the grand final loss to Geelong, but it was a brilliant year for St Kilda. So there's the task of the guy trying to get it in from fullback on this occasion coming. What does he see here to the right? A long down the line ball here, hoping for Taranto or Himmelberg. Neither of them battle in there, doing just that. Mason Wood with the sneaky handball and Wanganine Malira there. Throw it in right in front of the St Kilda bench. Matt, Jack. Great night here, as Richo said. Pretty cold, but no moisture on the deck as yet. Sling back into play by the umpire. Green. Strong at the footy. Got a good deep ball. Green was there. Off hands. Iden almost the pick up. Howard trying to wear him down. Waiting for support. Got it in green. Around the body. High ball. Anyone's. Howard is there, but in front, the smallest man, Bobby Hill. So green, a couple of involvements. Hill now to finish the work. That's it. Bobby, Bobby. Gonna go left foot around the corner, perhaps. So he is now. Shapes up, takes his time, has a bit of a think about the strategy. One or two steps. Very, very easily and nicely done. Al is a 175 centimetre man marking that ball. 
Uh, to, the others just completely <laughs> misjudged it. <laughs> fell three metres shorter than where they thought it would go. It did. It did go very high and had a, had a lot of float about it. I must admit, didn't come off clean off the boot. Well, a good finish from Hill, but it started with this contest from Toby Green. Just did well to get it to ground. Howard had actually done really well to come off his opponent to go second man up in that contest, but Green's contest just brought it to ground. Good ground level support from Iden just to lock it in and win that ground ball. That's what set up the goal and has been lacking to this point for the Giants. So they hit the scoreboard Final. finally Final. on Friday night. Fine. You'd be sitting back and Corey Enright would be shaking his head going, sure you had three tools there to spoil the ball and you'll let the small four take that mark. Marshall. Hold in, Kelly. And Flynn, and you heard the Hold umpire. In. It's a Jerry hold on Josh see. Kelly. Come on. Josh, that's it. Come on. Stand. Play on. They've wanted to go long and direct so far tonight. Himmelberg with a fly. Iden at the back. Here is Green. Trying to work his way out of a couple of tackles. Iden shins it forward. You. And this is Mason Wood. Stand. Obvious options, so just bangs it long. Marshall with a big climb. Coming has it held to him. Ronan. Watch my back, please, gents. Marshall over the back was Flynn. Kelly thought about Cornelio, banged it over the head. Hill off hands, almost Ward. Brilliantly done the Saints. Mackenzie arches the back and gets tough in there, but Play lucky. On. Bit off a little bit more than he can handle there, but eventually comes out with it to Play Crouch. On. Play on. Crouch now. Down the field. Beautiful little ball. And now Steele, the former boy from Canberra here, played with the Giants as well. Steele goes long and deep. High ball. Off hands Higgins. And he's caught high. These guys, easy, easy. Guys. Leave it. Thanks, Brad. I've got it. So, so, so Higgins has been in sensational touch. Jack he just gets to the right spots. He knows when to push forward. He does round the corner. And that one's off to the left as well. And he's missed another. Even the one he kicked was very, very close to a miss as well. So what does he go with now, Richo? Yeah, that was it. Well, that's what I thought he would do, that first drop punt that he had. But... He, even that one there, he's kicking the ball too hard. The drop punt, he tried to kick the cover off it. And even that one there, he just tried to kick it too hard. Got too much rotation on the ball. Especially that's so important there. When you're sideways and kicking around your, around your body, you've got to make sure you can pose. He almost fell over, as Rich just said. He did try and kick it too hard. A bit missy, Higgins. By the way, there's no uh, ball boys here tonight. Or girls, JB, behind the goals like there normally is. I think hard. forgotten to turn up. Presentation, Himmelberg. You're the only one laughing at that, VT. <laughs> I didn't mind it, actually. Long from Himmelberg. Iden. Ball gets behind him. And over. So I'm not sure why there aren't the standard three Matt, balls Rowan, behind each guys, goal end. The well, they haven't even got a bag of balls. Not no, only not no, someone to throw it back. But at this stage, no. I oh, don't know. Work down. Cornelio was brilliant. They go inside 50. Kelly was parked under the footy. Here's Green. And he's missing. A little bit of rust for Toby Green. Uh, I think they are there. They've appeared, JB, so that's good news. So Green looking dangerous. Battle. Very, very wide. Plenty of orange jumpers there. Taylor there with a the thump. Green again. Butler's got him wrapped up. He's up. Missed the Throw chance, that. Green, there. But again, it was just a, a scrappy contest. Brought the ball to ground that opened up the opportunity. That's where their scores are going to come from. Flynn. Green, I think our ball boys and girls here have sat so far to one side. We've completely overlooked Thanks, them. 
Matt Brown. St Kilda's hunt for the ball around contested possession has been great, but so is their tackle and they're leading 15 to 6 so far tonight. Cornelio Ward and Bruin all sharp hand. Bruin trying to get a little bit too much on the kick. Long has forced his way back into this side after a good performance last weekend and finds battle. Checks the kick. It gets out in front of Patton. It was a really good kick. He's called to go. Holding up the Saints ball movement a little here. That's Windhagen. Now they get it inside 50. Good Mark Hayes. You know, really strong hands. What the Saints are doing well, that when they first come out of their D50, they're prepared to go wide and short. But once they get close to the wing, they then want to get that handball received. And that's what they got there again. And they're able to get it in quickly inside 50. So that patient, the first few kicks out of defence, but then that handball receiver around the wing, once they get there, they change gears and it's really working for their Ford 50. They are good hands, JB. On a good defender too in Sam Taylor. So Hayes, after a couple of Saints misses, has drilled it. <laughs> Loves it. 5-1 from set shots for Jack Hayes. He's got his first and it's a good start. This is the, uh, the selfless running from St Kilda. As Richo said, their, their ability to work out wide. Bradley Hill's just stretching the ground, which creates space behind him. This is what St Kilda have been doing so well the last month of football. And then there's that much space where they can pierce those little gaps, get their handball receive, and then kick it to that open forward line. And that doesn't work without the wingers and the half-backers and the half-forwards in Bradley Hill creating that space. Bruce Ward. Taranto. Tanner Bruin, Himmelberg there as well. Bruin at the bottom will need to knock it out now. It does eventually come out the back door, Wilkie, caught in the Himmelberg tackle. Yeah, perfect. And a ball up right Thanks, in the middle of the Ryan Giants' Ryan. forward 50. Bruce down, Green. Touch play Canelio, the ball didn't go too far. Bruin came through. Back to Green. Good player. Hasn't got enough juice on that. Knighton can't keep it in. Interesting tonight. Tom Green here has got the Tom Green fan club. They've got a whole Rowan, marquee Brandon. dedicated to him over there. I believe it's all friends and family and uni mates. Uh, JB's well known up, he's up here, of course. His dad lives up here. Beautiful. Family are up here. Gets to the back of Bruce McKenzie. That's almost Callahan. Ash with some space and room to move. High and long. Holding and a free Kiro, kick. Yes, Bruce. Braden Bruce. For Braden Bruce, Bruce with a hold. Straight Bobby. 21st game. He's been on AFL list for a long time. There's the hold. Good call from the umpire. That's the line, Braden. Hold that. Nine goals in those... 20 and a bit games. See what he's got from the set shot. Loves it. So the Ruckman at both ends hitting the scoreboard. Marshall for the Saints and Bruce for the Giants. Better pressure from the Giants there. Just forced the dump kick from McKenzie. Lockie Ash mopped up, so the re-entry just created a bit of panic enough to force the free kick. Looking from the Parliament House end of the ground, straight down the middle. Spectacular sight. Gee, the surface here is 
Well, it's like your mum's bedspread. It is absolutely perfect, oh. JB, and you want to play on it. And it is tackled. magnificent. Free kick will go nice the way game. here of Steele in the middle. Got the handball off, and they're away through traffic. Patton, ball turned over, though. Now comes to Taranto. Fronts and poor kick straight through the hands of Battle. Got to go and get it now, Flynn, and he does, but immediately oh, tackled ball. and will have a ball up. Really poor use of the footy going forward with time and space. Rush, Brain, wrong here, guys. Work to ground. Yours, Flicked Hemble. into a dangerous spot. Iden flashes in from the side. Himmelberg got the handball back. Whitfield. Across the face and missing. Iden's been lively down there. For a tall fellow, he's quick, he's agile. Been to a couple of ground balls. I think he played every game bar one last year. Turning defender. Still yet to kick a goal in his career with 32 games next to his name. Dougal Howard searching wide. Marshall. Mark. Go back, Brandon. We need to give it back straight away. Two majors. Sam. Really Stand. testing the umpire there Stand, was Bruce. Hayes Brandon, just a little ginger. Off. Looks inside Marshall. Nothing there for him. So down the line. King, the intended target. Here. He has a wrestle with Keith. Advantage. And advantage paid. Crouch caught. Did he make good contact? Oh, umpire said no. Yeah, didn't make contact with the fist. And Keith was desperate. And the oh, lunging comes, tackle Sam. got it done in the end. Took advantage when there was none there. Short to Green. Perry in some space for him. Stand. There's just no Stand. movement. Look in the corridor. They need some movement. Crowd a few options to go through the middle. Bruce's hands were nice. Or just kick it to your right. That's a good contested grab. Stand. Come in. Gave away the first free kick, but he's been a target down there. Got the one holding before. Great contested mark just then. Surely not backing himself in from here, Prusy. I think he is. I think it's Steve Canilio just yelled out to have a shot, Prusy. Max Gorn's got a lot to answer for. Prusy, the long one. Gonna land in the square, Iden at the front. Saints happy to concede. This is where the Giants, if they're going to kick a winning score tonight, when they won that free kick back, you can just see all their numbers in the middle of the ground there, and then they're looking at an out number to St Kilda's defence. So they just have to work work harder to get forward of that ball to provide options. That's where St Kilda's probably got the better of them at the moment, just that work rate when they win the ball back. Go to the next umpire. Next umpire, stay out of the way. Straight down there. So Whitfield, told by the umpire to stay out of the way. Thanks, Lockie. Stand, mate. And free ball here to Long, who immediately goes to Sinclair. Got some overlap run and Crouch. Crouch dumps the ball. Pretty ugly ball, wasn't it? Deep and long without a lot of thought. Taylor smashes it. And well done by Callahan. Picked up by Cumming. Little handball out the back door. So can they get something going here? Himmelberg did well. Ground level ball, though. Almost with Marshall. Now with him. Bangs it on the boot. Works it forward in the King direction over the top. Tried to spoil, but Taylor wins the free. Stand back. Sam Taylor. Play him. Okay. Tried to fight off Stand. a really tough kick. That didn't work. Play on. Play on. And the Saints re-enter forward 50. Taylor, it gets beyond him. Perryman, got to be very careful here. Gresham, so much talent. So much talent. Wow, Jade Gresham having some sort of season. Magnificent finish. We spoke about this bloke before the game, how he's just been so consistent, kicking, a, averaging a goal a game, getting his 20-odd touches, but 
the goal smarts for him who can push up the midfield but then around the goals he's just so dangerous left or right foot he just looked composed didn't panic just a beautiful snap from the boundary line did his achilles round three last year missed all the year after that back and playing super footy this year gresham that was all class there's green as i said before got his own fan club here something i think richo should explore at quarter time up there on the hill not sure how you have your own marquee off hands it comes through traffic on this occasion was Patton went without it though handball from coming Iden quick release to ward ward's got a bit of space hammers it to an open goal square has it got the journey brilliant stuff So Ward, with just a minute on the clock, gets him within a goal. The Giants here, look, playing in Canberra for the 27th time. This man for the 25th time. No one knows this ground better than he does. And beautiful stuff from Ward. Let's get down to Richo. Yeah, BT, an issue at the moment. Jack Hayes is off the ground, down in the rooms. And you can see Leonard, he's been getting moving. He's getting a rub now. So Jack Hayes currently in the rooms under a cloud. Flynn got a stand under the ball. Perryman's got a body line the ball. Coughs it up to Crouch. Butler has it busted away from him. Higgins, quick release for Gresham. Holding the ball. Well done, Perryman. Tough man to call up, Jade Gresham. Haynes. Stand. Kelly. Bruce and Flynn under this for GWS. Ward, a little one. Long read at best. Slices his way through. Battle. To about 50 out and King! Good elevation. Siren's going to go. He must not play on here. First touch for the game. Big Max has got the trip. A prodigious kick of the football. That's his set shot productivity. So what's Max King got from here? Has he struck it well enough? He has, but it takes a good piece of the post. Entertaining quarter of footy on Friday night. Seven point lead for the Saints. Tested footy plus four and clearances. So Toby Green's had a couple of touches. Yep. He'd be blowing, he'd be getting a few cobwebs oh, yes. out at the moment. Iden went forward. You suggested that in the pregame that they might have needed another right presence. There. So you got that one right. And he's, he's given them something. He has a bit of a target down there. So. They need it, but at least they're competing in the second half now. So it looks like we've got a decent game of footy, Gus. We have indeed. So uh, seven points of margin here at Monica. We'll be back at half time. For all the half time highlights. We start this second term. I with Bruce. Holding GWS, Tom Green. Tom Green, Stand there he is, the man with his own Stand marquee. Playing Hold. in just his. 30th game. Long ball inside 50. And a big, big clock from Matt Flynn. Tell you what, the fan club are too worried about talking and drinking yeah. than watching this. Yeah. What a move. Moves well for a big body midfielder. Just a perfect kick to sit it up and let your tools do the work. The perfect start to this second term for the Giants. That's what's ahead of Flynn. No problem. Yeah. 
Ocho, just the 282 games for Richmond. I don't ever remember him having his own marquee. So we told you about the injury. The sub has been made. Leonard is about to come in for St Kilda. Hayes is out. And we believe a suspected ACL. Very, very simply done. And that does not look good immediately. Clutching there and able to get off the ground. So that will be examined. We'll know more as the hours tick by. But does not look good by the way he's trying to hold it there, JB. Because no. they do tend to feel loose. Second attempt to stand the mark looked horrible. You hate to see it, but when he's worked that hard for this opportunity to see him go down like that. 26-year-old, yeah. mature addition to the Saints, and he's been a really good one too. Steel, handball, went nowhere, so he has another go. This time Higgins closed down by Haynes. Wanganin Malira, Iden. Almost dragged a high free. Been good on Green. There he is. Callahan a long handball. Whitfield gone. He was given good opportunity to get rid of it. Whitfield couldn't make contact. St Kilda's defensive pressure has been excellent. They had 24 tackles in the first quarter. That's their most recorded this year. Sinclair. Going deep. White ball King somehow got himself into a position when he was completely out of position to mark that footy. Brilliant stuff from the big man. Have a look at this. He points, he wants it out to the right. It wasn't an ideal kick. He was hanging out to the right and in the end had to stretch left for it. I think that shows there is small forwards. They don't need to do a lot to put a block on, just to find a bit of body against the tall defender to give that forward a run and jump at it. So King hit the post just on the quarter time siren, and that one's sprayed to the left as well. It shows Max King's improvement, I think, too, and just that maturing that happens for key forwards. You wanted the ball somewhere, it didn't go there, but he just still found a way to really compete hard for that ball. Oh, is that coming a good ball for Taylor? Stand. Would have wanted to go quickly. He was unable to. Cornelio works for him. Well. Going further down the field. And Sinclair did well to break it up out of the hands of Tim Taranto. The Jack Hayes one, I mean, horrible long term, but interesting in the context of this game as well. Rowan Marshall started well, but then since then, both Flynn and Pruce have hit back and hit the scoreboard. So now Marshall has to go it alone against those two. He's doing that here. McKenzie. Right in and wrong. Watch my back, Jens. Crouch did nicely to McKenzie. Just dragged as he kicked it. It goes into the stand. Yeah, go through, man. Go through. On the line. Stand. Taylor to bring it back in for the Giants. Haynes always wants to move the footy. Just made that work to Kennedy. Stand. Callahan's out, out of side. He didn't want Play to go on. there. Play on. Stead. High and long. Green. Belted away from him. Hill. Sinclair back to Hill. Ross, but he's got lots of company. Callahan did well. Toby Green over the top. He gets it again. Just outside 50. Wobbles it for Connor Iden. Picks it up. Runs a bit of an arc. And cannot drag it around far enough. So Connor Iden, I believe, JB, about to pencil a four-year deal as well within the next day or two. So he is looking for another four years with the Giants. I'm told on very good authority that that will be done if it's not already. Looked dangerous at times. Up forward tonight. Webster wide. Mason Wood over the top. Marshall. Dribbler along the ground. 
O'Keefe taking King to the footy. Really good crowd in here to Marnik at a nine, as you can see in the background there. Haven't had footy here for a couple of years because of the COVID restrictions. Both teams are putting wingers out the back. Stoppages have been pretty even so far. He's got a spare reach. You see the chairman announcing a deal tonight where they're here for the next five years as well. So a lot going on in the GWS yeah, field. Hold the meter, guys. Long on, Webster off there. Graydon, run, here we go. If you look at the balance around the stoppage, GWS have got a couple defensive side. St Kilda, so it's pretty much whoever wins it, it's a clear stoppage for them. Green, Marshall now. Needs to release the footy. Kelly all over him. Difficult to do and no prior. Brayden Rowan again. Here we go. It's Next where mate. it's a temptation to those high yeah. half forwards to squeeze up onto the back of the freeze off the back of the stoppage. Great bit of ruck work down to Cornelio. Kelly. <laughs> Holding <laughs> free. Matt Flynn, GWS. He's going to Flynn. Arms around. Kick the last goal. Matt and that's the issue when you give some blow, when you give some spares at the back of the stoppage. If you win that contested ball, you feed it back. They've got time and space to drive, use their legs, and kick it deep inside Ford 50 to bypass the numbers. Howard really Matt, biting his meters. tongue there, JP. Yep. That's your line. Well, if he doesn't, 15 he on. makes a certainty of it. Not a lot in it. It's sort of both hugging. Flynn. Strikes that just as well as the last one. That's exactly what you want from the ruck forward. Giants hit the front. Another look at the free kick. I, I think they both were sort of holding around the arm there. And Matt Flynn was the one actually coming back, sort of turning back on the ball. I think a, a lucky one there, but good stoppage win, as you said, Hodgie, and creates a bit of panic and stress on the defenders. That's often when the free kicks do get paid. Kick the last three here. The Giants hit the front for the first time in a game. BT would have loved it. He's kicked yep. the goal and ran straight off. Second. He's caused a bit of issue up forwards. <laughs> Strange moves are made. Hodgy, I never quite understand. Hill was under a lot of pressure long. It's able to mark uncontested on the half-back line. Looks into the middle. Had a momentary thought about Marshall in the middle. And he goes wide and finds Wanganeen Malira. Into the middle. That's a good-looking ball if it finds the target. And it does. This is Windhager. Just backward of the centre circle, told to go now. Slow movement here from the Saints as they go forward. King's got a break here. Haynes goes back to get a run up to try and climb over the top. It comes to Wanganee Malera. He was trying to centre the ball in the end. He's caught in two minds. Jack, over here. Sam, Sam. Come around. Bruce and Iden and Marshall all tangle. Brayden and Ron. Separate the staff, please, gents. There's Tom Green. Play on. Releasing the ball as he was dragged to ground. And don't cry opportunity. Made a genuine attempt. Brown, Pretty clearly explained. Bruce again down to Cornelio. Just a minor fumble cost him. Patton tried to come through with the ball. Double tickled and he's down. Looks like Lockie Ash is spending a lot of time with Bradley Hill. Just the three touches for Hill, so he's kept him relatively quiet. We'll have another ball up. 
Hodgie and Days, I wonder what you think. It looks like to me that they're definitely playing for Cameron and the process that he believes in. That's not a problem at all. So why are they in the position that they are, the Giants? Whitfield. Through traffic to Ward. Chipping little ball to Hill. Hill's got Lockie Whitfield down the line, ignores that. And I think Seb Ross was having a chat to him off the bench there saying, go for it. Hill does now down the line and that'll go over the line and out of bounds. Do you mean in the context of the season yes, or tonight? Con context of the season. Oh. They're, they're one and four. If, if you looked at that, they have played Melbourne, three hours second, oh, oh. Sydney are playing really good football, Richmond are excellent. So they have, they've come up against some quality teams as well. All without Toby Green as well. So tough draw. Wanganin Malira. Himmelberg there as well. Trying to lock it in. <laughs> Toby trying to argue that that was deliberate. Matt Game's Brown. on their terms in this quarter. They're playing really good hard footy around the contest. The Giants are just working it forward gradually, but they're having a really good win in the contested possession. So the game's probably on the terms they want. To the front, Cornelio. Ward just misses him with a handball. Steel might have ridden him in the back and then might have got him high. Not going to matter. Callahan inside forward 50. Bashes out of a couple of sets of hands. Bruin flashed through. Green. Kennedy. Relentless, the Giants. Oh, man. St. Kilda. Stephen, stay back. Thank you. Howard a freak. Stand on the line. Play on. He goes low and hard and finds Ross. He does. Ross just slows things down. So trying to just get themselves back into some rhythm here, the Saints. Giants have dominated the last 10 or 15 minutes of the game. Three successive goals. Here's Taylor. Keeps it alive. Whitfield on his left. Beautiful ball to centre half forward. Howard was able to knock it away. They've got the numbers. St. Kilda to tie it up. Wilkie did well to feed it out the back door to Ross. And now Ross to lean it. Lean it to Steele. Steele on the wing. Back inside. Good ball, Higgins. Turns, goes immediately. King got the one-on-one -on -one he wanted. Going to win most of those, but not on this occasion. Callahan turned the wrong way. Ward, and then there's a fumble from Kennedy. Now they've got a problem. Long taken in a really good tackle. Himmelberg will need to get rid of this. Callahan handballed it to the voice of Kelly. Actually worked advantage, well for them. Advantage. And now advantage paid and Kelly can stream away. Green's out the back with all sorts of room. Does he take him on? No. Jeez, he would have thought about it. Bobby Hill, that was a free kick was paid there. Pretty sure it was against Long on Bobby Hill. The advantage was paid, and that was how they were able to get it out over the back to Toby Green. Normally handles moments like this really well, Toby Green. Great shot of it there. Never online. So Kelly yeah. telling coming to go that way, but he didn't. So he was definitely in two minds, wasn't he? I think the medical staff will have to go and assess that. As soon as you look like you're concussed or anything like that, it looked like he hit his head pretty hard and sort of laid back with his head against the, the ground for a little bit. So Keith, the doctors will be block. looking into that one for sure. Stand, come back on. Viewing it on the screens they have on the bench. Over the top and just a little bit closer this time for Green. He'll line up here for about 35 minutes. That's your line, to Bobby Toby. Hill. It's it's that part there that the doctors have always said that there's a concern. As soon as your your head hits the ground, and you sort of lay back. That's just smart from Green. He's he's one of those players. As soon as they get that ball, his anticipation to run hard forward and try and get that quick ball. Seven touches tonight. Jared Ruffhead having a chat to Brad Hill and. Now Toby Green with the business end of things here, and he's got it this time. 
Welcome back to the big time. So four in a row here for the Giants as they certainly gain the ascendancy and get back on top and in control of things here at the moment. This was desperation from Keith, which got the ball of the turnover. He was out of position. Kings moved him. His desperation to get that spoil in, kept the ball in Jed Elvis's hands. And then Green. That's why he's so good. As soon as he realised that turnover was there and, and the ball was in GWS's hands, he worked hard forward, got behind the St Kilda defence to get his second mark inside forward 50 this quarter. Good little patch here for oh, GWS. Man, St Kilda, grabbed his jumper. Ron Marshall, you're free. Thank you. Stan, Clark. Gresham. You. Haynes with a hand in there. Steen. Himmelberg to the front. We've got a real hunt for the contest here, the Giants. Kelly Come on. has Next it shot. held in. Definitely up to their urgency, as you Matt, say, JB. On. After about, I reckon, the first five minutes, they're just much better appetite for the contest. Their pressure's a lot better. Cornelio arches the back. Had Whitfield running past, ignored him. Kelly's got to try and handle a really tough ball. Handballed as he was being tackled by Ross. He's gone. Holding the ball. St Kilda. Josh, Stan. So Ross, they just can't get any pace on the footy at the moment, the Saints. Maybe that last entry, Hold they've on. had just one possession inside their forward 50 this quarter. Stan. Yeah, BT, they were getting those handball receives around the wing in the first quarter. We talked about that. They've dried up. They're, they're not able to get those handball receives, which means Stan, it's this slow kick mark style. So here's Wilkie. Looks in the middle. Sinclair ducks out the back just in case. Wilkie looking for King. Membry there as well. He plays the front and centre. Membry did it well. Spun out. Got it. McKenzie threw a little bit of traffic and then off balance. McKenzie made some valuable ground but not able to keep it alive. There's no surprise, those two are leading the way for uh, GWS. Kelly, 6.9, Whitfield, 6.7 in battle. He's always been a workhorse, 6.5K so far. Ford, 50 stoppage here for the Saints. Flynn down. Perryman handled a pretty good ball. Cornelio did nicely, coming. But straight to Marshall. Stan! Deal. Huh. Not sure where to go, so just high and long. Big Flynn's back there. It's a ground ball now. Perryman. Oh. Out in the full. Worst possible result. One, one for a line. Brad Crouch. St Kilda was so efficient in the first quarter going inside Ford 50. That was their sixth entry, and this is only their second touch inside Ford 50. GWS defence has been really good down there this quarter. Horse played a lot of footy in Adelaide, so has he got this check side in his armoury? Looks good. Looks really good. First of the second term for the Saints after GWS put three on them to start this term. They do get to a point, these balls, where they stop swinging back and they start to turn the other way. And that got just around the goalpost before it started to come back the other way. Beautifully designed kick from Crouch, JB. And that 
was a big goal for the Saints just to stop that little bit of momentum the Giants had running. Next stoppage on the wing or next stoppage. High ball here. Comes to Green, beautifully fed to Taranto. Taranto around the corner. Tanner Bruin making some ground here at the back. He'll need to measure up, and he does. Farms off the handball to Taranto. Got a little bit of time and space here. Callahan comes back inside, looking dangerous. The Giants, Saints defending well. Webster, little left foot kick off the side of the boot. McKenzie couldn't quite get over the top of Ward. Good mark, Ward. Umpire descent. And umpire descent. That was the arms, was it? We'll get Ward very close to goal. Where the descent, what it was for. And he was trying to say that it was a, a ground ball. Is that descent? So he's trying to say the ball hit the ground. I mean, how's that descent? Really? Is this what we want? So Ward is now only about 15 out and should goal. And he does. Two on the night now for Cal Ward. I know they're not going to change their decision, JB, and no, I guess do. that's the argument, isn't it? Well, to the letter of the law, he's he's questioning the umpire's decision here so you you can't dispute that but was it demonstrative i don't know and the trouble we're going to have with this rule is that two out of the three umpires aren't paying that <laughs> but one is so we saw ben long throw his arm out in the, the first quarter and question the umpire so the no word, free kick the words were it hit the ground i mean it's hard isn't it i mean you could so there's nothing demonstrative no. but he's questioning the decision exactly and that's going to be the call. But it's always going to be up for interpretation by that one umpire as to whether they think it's dissent. I just pray that the grand final is not going to be made with a decision like that. We will never get consistency on it because it's so much up for interpretation. Not pulled so down, Marshall. You're exactly right, Days. No question about that. Steen was involved initially there and now over the line been so much talk about it this week JB that whole rule but hopefully we'll move on and it'll just fade away well the hope is that the players get their head around it and it stops happening ball thumped by Marshall Sinclair steal all the way back to Wilkie good tackle Iden. he looks like a man who's about to wink a deal yep He's got the pen in hand, ready to go. Yes. It's poised. Say it now. We spoke about how good St Kilda were at tackling the first quarter. GWS has been excellent this quarter. What have they got on the end of this? Himmelberg just about. Perryman over the line. I've liked that move of Iden up forward as well. He hasn't necessarily set the game alight, but he's looked threatening and he's just added speed and a bit of pressure at ground level for the Giants. Hayes out of the game with a suspected knee injury. Means that Marshall's doing this all night. Crouch forward to Hill. There is Marshall. Not able to take it. Wood Higgins straight to Haynes. You can sit under this pretty comfortably. Windhager came after him, but it was always going to be a Haynes mark. Four of the five goals this term have been kicked by GWS. Ward front and centre. And the baller. St Kilda this year, they've won four out of the five games with contested ball. The only one they lost was the game. They lost the actual game to Collingwood round one. Tonight, GWS had plus 20 in contested possessions against them. Really matched them in their own game. Yep. Feels like this is a high stoppage game as well, Hodgie. And it, 
with the, the big bulls that they've got in the midfield, uh, the Giants, it just feels like this style of game tonight is sort of playing into their hands. Clearances 21-14 their way at the moment. Off hands, Kenzie taken away by Whitfield. Steele was first in, hard to get it. Flynn resulting though to Kelly. Ash had it momentarily, flicked out the back to Ross, wanted the handball to Butler, now he goes and finds him. Back to McKenzie, needs someone wide, got it. Beautiful foot skills. Now Wilkie, short little ball. Stand. Finds Wanganee Malira. Well. Told to go. Wanganee Malira. King making ground here. Keefe over the back with a big thump. And because Helping it is, out for Haynes. Because it is a slower game and we're having a lot more stoppages than what we have had this year in games, it's allowing the Giants to get their defence set. Haynes is starting to have an impact because he can really set up behind these stoppages. Clean possession, Flynn, and then ripped to ground. Kelly to stream away. A bit of a tumbler. A try and get in behind it. Howard controlled it really well. Sinclair. Nice. To Ross. Can he go quickly? Decides not to. The skipper's wrapped up. Patton. King dangerous here. Max, Max, Max. Clear out or stand the mark. Couldn't get body on him and simple mark in the end. Josh, that's your line, Max. That's the position being. He was in front spot and he was too worried about King. That's what King does to defenders. Well, to anyone who plays on, if, you, if he gets a run and jump at it, they're too worried about putting a body on him. 3-4 from set shots tonight, St Kilda. Make that 3-5. That's a couple of horrible misses. Horrible connection there. Horrible ball drop. Chasing it on the inside of his foot. He's done the same thing a couple of times. So an 11-point Giants lead. Coming with the job of getting it to the wing, if possible. At the back, Marshall, who looked absolutely spent a couple of moments ago. I was following him behind the play. Crouch, he's got a lot of work to do tonight, Marshall. There he is, poking out a brilliant little handball. But free kick will go the way of Ward. So Kellen Ward, the most experienced player they have on their list. Short to coming. Coming across the ground, they load up through Kennedy. He tries to bite off a bit with some pace, and then a very, very direct ball. Plenty of orange jumpers around here. Iden for his first goal in footy misses. 49 plays 37. Sinclair, a short one. Howard. Managed to hold the Saints well in this second term, GWS. Ward with a really good mark. Wants to go. Does go. Thumps it low and hard. And it bounced off the hands of Green. Great end. Rowan. Here, guys. He only knows one way. He's hard. He's physical. He's got the smarts to play on while the St Kilda bikes on the ground. Get the ball moving forward. Giants forward 50 yeah. stoppage. Proust, clean possession. Gets through a couple of sets of legs. Membry, as he so often does late in quarters, heads back for the Saints. A long ball. Hill keeps his feet. Can the running machine get rolling? Couple of bounces. Max King comes at him. Beautiful kick is going to get to him just on the bounce. King, though, wobbles a top. Just the wrong side. Oh, brilliant Brad Hill. He just tucked the ball under the arm, and when he realised who was chasing him, he went back to second gear. He changed down the gear days. With the kick as well. I mean, in that scenario with chasers and people running at him, 
anyone else, you'd need a forward to lead at him. But King knew he was good enough to bring it back into the corridor. We all know it's very hard to run downhill. Uh, but up they go, Himmelberg. Little one, Perryman, Taranto, down to the last 30-odd seconds. Plenty of time here for the Giants. Kelly, precision-like ball, missing the intended push target. Battle cuts it off, ran off the mark, so the umpire, Mollison, says you've got to go. He just dumps it down the line with an old wobbler and floater, and it's stuck down the throat of Marshall. So they try and get something late here, the Saints. Got to be brave. Nine seconds left. Push in the back. And that will just about do it. Good quarter for the home team here in Canberra. Four goals to one. 11 points to margin. The Giants have done a good job getting their nose back in front. Welcome to halftime, brought to you by Industry Super Funds. When it comes to super, there's only one symbol to look for. Well, they're down by seven and uh, early. Is Rui really anything? Oh, I think it's, it's a big job now for Rowan Marshall as well. Yeah, yeah. One out against the two GWS Ruckman who were brilliant in, in the scoreboard four start. times. Absolutely. So he, 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 we've spoken about Rowan Marshall at times as needing to be the, the man and playing one out. We know he's, he's been, formed a great duo with Paddy Ryder, but here's your chance, Rowan. That's a great point. There's an opportunity there that it lies there at his feet. Um, we'll find out 11 points of margin in favour of the Giants. We'll see you at three quarter time term from the Giants who have just got a win long long way back from one and five green little handball hunting it was Kelly also there Gresham and there's Tom Green bouncing into the path of Josh Kelly who was taking the ground without the ball and the downfield umpire saw it and called it they're going them up stand Short is good to Perry, mate. Thanks, mate. 30 metres out. It gets to the back and only player back there is Len at the sub. And he bashes a high one here for memory. Good fist from Haynes. Look at the ground Kelly covers. Into the path of memory. Just a little fumble. Walked into green. Ross now. Taken in a tackle, released it to Membry. Oh, big jump from King Hill, Gresham. What's ahead of the footy for the Saints? Not much. It dribbles away from Kennedy, but the numbers are there for the Giants. This is coming. Yep, coming able to tidy up and relieve oh. pressure to Haynes. New kick. Haynes, a little chip ball, lean it, might get there and cut it off, he does. So King really met that solidly then. Good stuff, Brad Hill in there. Absolutely perfect front and centre position as well. Good aggressive attack on the footy from King. Marshall in the throat of Leanit. Green the tackler. Right in Rowan. Thanks, mate. So Lockie Keith with his hands full tonight with Max King. Proust, palming it down the path of Kelly. Lena shoveled it back to Crouch. Saved it, kept it alive. Danger here for the Giants, Kennedy. Haynes didn't want to go any deeper into defence, and that kick was all guesswork down the throat of Steele. Play on. So some forward half territory here for the Saints. King in good position oh. here. This got through his hands. Gresham ripped in a terrific tackle. Goal-saving tackle from Keith. Rux is up. Here we go. Max, Brent. Bruce, the bigger body, and then clean possession. Green. Dump kick. Well, Green almost. Callahan, good hands. Ward. Temple, you. Overlap running. A little Holding fumble. Downfield. Play on. And you. now downfield ball will work. It's ahead of Cornelio. That's beautiful. To Himmelberg. Thought about the dish and now go back and take a set shot. That's what they want to see there. Get that ball going through the middle of the ground as fast as that. It's very hard to defend. The, the hard work, it's normally we've seen tonight, St Kilda's been the one who've been running forward, but GWS have numbers flowing through. And then when you get it 
He kept it with the ball in his hand with that much space. So hard to defend for St Kilda. Good numbers for Harry Himmelberg. That's nearly missing the lot. Yeah, he's kicking this year. JB has been almost perfect. 11 goals won he's kicked. And uh, since 2019, in fact, he kicked 100 goals, 36. Can we ask Richo if there was too much grippo on that one? Yeah. He is the grippo expert, our man Richo down there. He's getting a real workout in the cold expanses of Monica Proust, who's looking better and better and getting the job done. They would have been disappointed that he was out suspended. Now the centering ball here. Whitfield flies. Sinclair looking for the give and go. Didn't come back. Now Ross goes very wide. Good looking ball to Higgins. Higgins has got Gresham on deep. King's there as well. He goes to Gresham in the pocket, and then King's man peels off and comes at the footy, but he didn't mark it, Taylor. And in the end, might have got King high and curses himself in the end, does Taylor, for not taking the mark after leaving King. You can see he had the big guesswork and didn't quite work for him. Man, his hands are normally so good that never looked like wrapping them around the ball. So, no St Kilda Ruckman here. Bruce able to get it to the front. Perryman, only as far as McKenzie. Slots it into the pocket. King this time. Toughest of all of his set shots. And because of that, probably the one he's most likely to kick. Josh, one more metre. Look at that, four behinds on the night for yeah. this incredibly talented young key forward. Runs around. That's not working either. Just a little bit, a little bit too far out there for that king. Didn't get enough height in it. So who's going to own this third quarter? Ash. Got the numbers here, the orange. Flynn over the back, couldn't make it work long. Sneaky little handball, good stuff. Steal to Ross. Now look at this, there's four St Kilda players. They give it to Gresham. Gresham with a low fast ball. I think it's got there. I think the goal umpire will say goal first. Let's have a listen. I believe it's a touch behind. Can we check to see if there's touch before the line, please? In fact, he goes the other way. Yep, yeah, certainly was. Very good call from the Review goal complete. umpire. Looking at this angle, we can see the ball is touched before crossing the goal line. Decision on the scoreboard. Yeah, extremely good call. Good ha quick review too. Haynes did not look enthusiastic about it. No. If you looked at his body language, he's, he almost accepted it as a goal. Good call from the goal umpire. Okay. It's at the right end though for the Saints. They've had a couple of misses. Higher. Kennedy. Bruce wrestling with Marshall. Tom Green. Cornelio. Whitfield was clean. Flicked the handball to Himmelberg and that's holding the ball all day long. Dialed up a bit of heat here, the Saints. Go back, thanks, Bobby. Ben, 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 round, please. Can they get reward for it? Webster. Play on. Short option in Sinclair. Stand. Uses that. Put it on. Play on. Windhager. Put on. Play. Can't That's move the ball. Five. The Saints, they've just got to hold up even with the switch. Outside five. Play on. Sinclair Play called on. to go. New kick. Late fist from Taylor. And Callahan's taken out, got the handball before he went out. Ash. Good smother. The ball over. So we'll throw it in again. That's uh, Richard Green there and his wife, the father of Tom Green, he's an army officer, 
Well, he copped the pilot with the Australian Defence Force. And there is the his son's fan club, if you don't mind. Imagine having your own fan club there. One with a Tom will visit after the game. Sinclair spills out wide here to Windhager. Low ball, Haynes. So it's a bit of a stalemate, this game right here in the, at the moment in the third quarter. We've basically won a quarter each. And this one split it down the middle. My ball, Iden, who surprisingly started forward tonight. Cruz with the free here. Takes his time. Proust. High footy, just put it in nest of St Kilda players there, and they're going to move this away comfortably. McKenzie, look out for Sinclair. Through came Kennedy. Strong tackle put on Callahan. Shrugged. And the ball up. Brooks. Rowan Brayden, here goes. Flicked into the path of Tom Green, now Marshall. High ball. Kennedy, end on end, and Big Brayden took the mark, missed with the handball. Still got taken high. And the advantage is paid, so can Hill do some damage? Higgins, nothing ahead of him. So this has got to dribble through. And it does! Second of the night for Jack Higgins. First of the second half for the Saints. Gap closed. This hurt. Bruce has taken a couple in the forward half already in this third quarter. Just missed the handball, and this is how damaging it can be at AFL level. Bradley Hill, there was nothing in front of him. He just pulled it on the left foot. And then Higgins, I'm not sure if he, the coaches were that wrapped when he first kicked it, considering he would have needed the St Kilda mids to catch up behind it, but he backed himself. You can see Rowan Marshall there. Sorry, Hodgie, he is struggling. He's been limping around the last couple of minutes. Bruce has been getting on top in the ruck. Yeah. Now Marshall's gone down to the rooms. High footy goes forward here, though. Howard with the thump away. Wilkie tried to trap the ball. Iden got a little handball. Cornelio's got to go. Went and got it against Long. Ross was tough at it in there. Ball to be won here at the moment. And St Kilda are going to win it. Patton, little one, McKenzie. Big, big contest here with coming. Gresham Mung was it out of the middle. Now it's a foot race. Membry and Steen go forward. Higgins for his third. Got it. Cheers. Talking a bit of trash too. Jack after it. To Lockie Keefe. Pressure from the two forwards from St Kilda, King and Memory, but Higgins works down, gets rewarded. And Keith gives it, gives him a little bit, but he gives that little lippy forward pocket, gets a bit of a reaction from him, but he's been lively as always. Had plenty of shots on goal, just kicked his third. So battle now having to head into centre bounce territory. And whilst he's 193 centimetres, there's no match for Flynn. And or Bruce Ward arches the back. Bruin took the tackler on, gave it to Whitfield. They are bringing the heat, the Saints. Windhager. Good to memory. Pressure meter right up for St Kilda. Off a step, memory. 
King threw about four sets of hands. Ball up. JP, I've lost your comms, mate. It's a bit of a sacrificial act throwing battle into the ruck, isn't it? No, Don't throw your Rolls Royces in there. Just throw the old back pocket in there. What? Made him absorb the battle. And there he is. GWS. Just held under it a bit too long. Kennedy free. But he's got to do that. It's out of necessity because Marshall off the ground and down in the room. Has he come back out yet, Richo? Have we seen him? Not yet, uh, BT. Haynes is currently trying to get back on the ground. He was off when those two goals were kicked and he's the man that holds the defensive shape together for the Giants. Memory. Here they go again if they can clear this little battle. Caught in the tackle there, Peyton. Important for battle just to really compete hard. 14 to 2 hit outs advantage the Giants way in this game, and also three goals coming from Flynn and Proust, so they're having a huge impact. Exactly what he just did then, Days. That's all he has to do, isn't it? He could use it as a positive as well. He could be the, the extra midfielder for a bloke that size. He's really good for agility and any second up efforts. Crouch and Ross there upended. So ball going nowhere. So it's a quarter belonging to the Saints. And after an initial five or six minute period of a pretty even contest, kick the two goals both through Higgins. McKenzie wobbles it inside 50. Keith and King. King just released the ball to ground. And Brett over Ratton, it goes. Sorry, JB. Brett Ratton said at half time it was all around right. the contest. They were getting smashed, contested possessions rock. and clearances, but they're going even at this stage Thank in this you. quarter with them. So they've definitely improved that area of the game. Membry. Now to do battle with Flynn. Giants tumble it out of defensive 50. Himmelberg's got to make something of this. Cornelio hit it really hard. Himmelberg on the burst. Had Green ahead of him. Decided to try and double back. And gone. Well, he didn't have too many other options, but I don't reckon he knew the man was behind him as well. He had those covered on the side. Forgot about the extra one at the back. So long now. St Kilda just happy to slow and pause here for just a moment. That is the positive about having an agile person in the ruck. That was the ruck and then who laid that tackle. So he worked 50 metres to get back and help out the defence. Wintager. Membry. You're probably not getting that out of a traditional ruckman on, on fast play like that. High footy. Big pack. Flynn kicked a couple to open the second quarter. Good mark there from Flynn, and he goes wide to Canelo. He's got the overlap run here. Goes in board. It gets through the hands of Whitfield. Lots of Saints here now. Ross over the top. Higgins just turns his back. Gee, King could come into the pocket. Why <laughs> turn your back? He's kicked the last two goals of the game. He's feeling it now. And King's got <laughs> zip five. Well, this could test his distance, I reckon. To make it three in a row for Jack Higgins. Gee, he can sniff out a turnover, Jack Higgins. He reads it well and gets into space, doesn't he? No question of that, Rich Owen. He's on fire. Beautiful. On the night for Jack Higgins. Three in a row to start this third term. I think we need to have a glimpse at uh, what happened post this one going through Bristol. There's the turnover again, which St Kilda in this third quarter has really hurt GWS. But there's a reason why, BT, that he didn't pass it. As soon as he took that mark, he's turned his back. He had full confidence. He's given it a fair roost. And as soon yep. as that's come off his boot, he started running towards the crowd. To hit the old flex. Oh. He's up and about at the moment. Really enjoying himself. Not a lot popping out there, but uh, <laughs> holding. nevertheless, the old flex. GWS, you're holding his a, arm. There was a few biceps there. He's forced Connor Iden to come back into defence too. It had him packed up forward, but Leon Cameron's... Pulled that lever, sent him back again. Taranto explores deep. Off hands, Wood. His favoured left side. Now here is Higgins working hard again out wide and beating him to the ball, Kennedy. 
Haynes. High footy. Very, very high. Good mark taken by the big fella, Flynn. Here comes Marshall as well. But he's in discomfort. Doesn't look very good. Maybe not for Marshall. As Flynn goes very, very wide. Ball out of bounds. And that shot coming out of the St Kilda rooms did not look good for Marshall. Come out, guys. Ball in the hands of Green. Gives it off. Kelly with the snap. Thumps it into the post. No, you're right, PT. Those aren't good shots for Rowan Marshall. Got a real hobble. Well, he's a guy that you need to protect. He's a season-long player. You can't afford to risk him just yet. They're going all right without him. Taranto might give it another five and just see how they're poised after that, whether you risk him or not. Kick inside, cut off here by Sinclair. They want to go quick, and they do. Sinclair with a beautiful pinpoint pass to Ross. Ross a chipper in the middle to Butler. Butler has a look around. All goes with a high up and under. It's a funny sort of kick, and gave Iden every chance, indeed, in the last line of defence. Wow. Steen. Leonard able to bust it out of his hands pretty comfortably. Steel. They re-entering at will, oh, and that's man. a holding free for Max King. Holding his jumper. Time back on. Big hold of the jumper mate? here on Max yeah. King. Big set shot this too, Richo. Yeah, he's at, what is he, five points now. So he, he's Max. lost a little bit of confidence in his that's kicking tonight. Now. Clear free kick there he's a couple right of times. Mark. For Max Good King, Lockie Keefe said to the umpire, who, me? <laughs> you were the only one there with him, Lockie. Big kick here for Max King, and that's much better. Four in a row, Saints. Big third quarter statement made here by St Kilda. There's Marshall. <laughs> so Marshall back on the ground. He, I must admit, he limped all the way out there to the middle. So let's see how he goes. They've kicked the four in a row. They lead it by 13. They've got their big and small forwards operating perfectly. Bruce and Marshall. Doctors must have said the injury can't get any worse for him to go back in there, surely. Sinclair, beautiful hands from Marshall. Got it to steal. Steal a long ball. King the intended target over the top. No winner there now, Iden. Keeps it in front. Boundary line always in mind. Didn't quite get it there. Membry swings it back into a very dangerous zone. Mark almost. Higgins again touched off the boot. You'd assume it's just a bit corky in that right quad with Rowan Marshall. You can see he's got the padding on the front of his thigh there. So, look, it's not going to get any better, that's for sure, when you've got a corky like that. So... He's just going to have to push on the big fella. But it's up to Bruce and Flint to make him work. Be physical in the stoppage. Make sure as soon as there's a contest, you've got to spread. You've got to make sure you really test him. He's a solo ruckman. Make him work. See how that leg really is. Stand. He can hardly move. That's oh, a horrible corky, well, Daisy. Well, well. Oh, Bruin's got to rise against a couple. It was always going to be tough. Wilkie. The tail up here, the Saints. Hill. Long was in the corridor. Mackenzie's wide. Bouncing ball here for Mason Wood. Turns around. It's got too much heat on it. Gets past them all. Now the defence arrives for GWS. Had to be careful. He didn't rush that through then, Callahan. There was no Saint player in sight. Would have been a free. Here's Green. 
interference. 4.40 remaining in the third. They're down by 14. Can they make anything happen here? Ward. Himmelberg. Very wide to Canelio. Glances inside. No movement at all forward of the footy. Nothing inside that centre square, as you can see there. So all he can do is unload down the line. That's the only option he had. Flynn has a bit of an attack in it. And with four minutes and nine seconds in the third remaining, a four-goal-to-zero quarter in favour of the Saints. Bruce just a fist. Tom Green. Toby Green. Neither could really handle the ball. Great kick, Sinclair. Marshall. This will test him. Attempted the handball to Mason Wood. Didn't really work. Marshall ground level. Perryman. Sinclair couldn't really lasso the footy. Bruin. Same can be said. Ross. And straight to Cal Ward. Got Haynes on. Can they slingshot forward? Dead. Battle comes on and takes a really important mark. Well, that kick's got too much on it, although Himmelberg dropped what he should have taken. Max King ground level. Himmelberg battles on and over it goes. So that's Marshall just trying Rocks to get that corky going. Richo, just down where you're sitting, what do you think? Yeah, no, he's really struggling. So battles come back on into the ruck now. It's not a lot he can do now. That Just stay on the bike and just try and keep it moving as best he can. Maybe get something out of him in the last quarter. Colder he gets, the more difficult it's going to be, though. Bruce, little handball out. Green, Hayden, Taranto. Quick kick, dangerous one. Green had to go hard and did Ash and wrapped up in the resultant tackle and Jack Higgins shortly back into the action. And Braden. Got the thumbs up. He's all good to go. Bruce crouching almost. Bruce banged it on the boot now. Steen here couldn't quite hang on. He'll get the free though. Hill's got to give it back directly and straight away. Can he keep going? They've got an open forward end. Oh, that is a shocking kick. The interception there, brilliant by Wanganeen. Malira goes inside 50. Funny little kick. Membry gives it back to him, and he'll do likewise. Now Membry, the standing start sideways ball, and finds an opportunity with Patton. Had to go sideways because Bruce and Iden had worked back as spare, so... Green's got to affect the spoil. Keith, he's had a lot of defending to do this term. High ball pattern in good marking shape, couldn't hang on. And the numbers for St Kilda around the ball. Steel back inside 50. All the way to the back, Taylor. Membry out of play. They just feel JB, with a minute 52, they can't afford to concede any more here, the Giants. They have not won a Brayden, final quarter this Taylor. season, GWS. Max and Braden. Just to underscore your really good point. Ross King somehow released it. Callahan got the handball away to Taranto. Flynn's helped over the line. Now, if that had bounced left, it would have been no intention to keep it in. It bounced right, fortunately, and it was an OK kick. Amazing. So, a minute 35. GWS have got a fight off. Can't afford to concede in the closing stages of the third. Green. Through traffic. Callahan to the wing now. St Kilda going to outnumber them here. Webster ran into a brick wall. Himmelberg, but he didn't have it, Webster. Still. Been a quiet night for Himmelberg tonight. You committed, I'll give you that. They're tricky, those ones, as the tackler. You don't know the ball's Stand. come out. Kind of stripped in the tackle. 
battle. That's on five. Play on. Told to go by Mollison. Does now and unloads a nice ball here. Big leap over the top from Cumming. Couldn't reel it in, went and got it, and Steele was all over him. You're really happy with this if you're a Saints fan, I reckon. They just grunt work their way back into this. After being outworked in that second term, they can add some cream to it here. Some panic in the back half. Mason Wood misses. Who was that tackler then? Because it was just in the nick of time. Clear out, please. I think it was Taylor. Taylor it was, yeah. Just able to twist him away from the goal. 40 seconds, there's time. Here's Green. Just really Himmelberg deep from there. Green sees something out very, very wide. Good looking ball out there to Callahan. Couldn't quite get hold of it. Battle. Wanganee Malira. Sold a nice dummy, brings it back into King. Off hands. Kelly probably shouldn't have given it. Webster. Did he get a little bit of a nudge forward or not? Umpire says no. And ball held in. 12 seconds and closing on three-quarter time. St Kilda, incredible quarter. Higgins kicked the first three, then King got the fourth. Giants haven't registered a goal in this third quarter. Backing back there, Patton. Himmelberg underneath it all. Green with a handball out. Siren sounds. Quarter completed. St Kilda couldn't come back. Marshall in trouble. Hayes out for the year with an ACL. St Kilda three-quarter time by 15. Beauty, he's got a great attitude. He, he, he will give you the most supreme effort all the time. I say to Flynn and Proust, now's your opportunity to try and get themselves That's back right. in the game. Game not over, 15 points to margin. We'll be back after the game to wrap up what's looming as a Friday night beauty. Proust down. Steele just using strength to clear a path. Haynes came hard at it. Good pick up, Crouch. Gresham. Tumbles it inside 50. Hill almost claws it. Butler. Wanganeen Malira. Sinclair. Thumped away from Higgins. There's Wanganeen Malira again. Butler. High. Now, a ground ball goes to a really horrible spot here for the Giants. And taking it over was Isaac coming. Interesting, Damn. this last clearance, because Great Bruce in. got the tap, but Battle won the battle in the end because he got the clearance. The opposing Ruckman. So here is the Bruce memory battle now. He's looking to dominate, did it beautifully to Green, used his advantage. Kennedy dumps it out to Kelly. Wrong-footed on his right and Damn. sits it down the throat of Jimmy Webster. Webster short, finds Ross. Ben. St Kilda, very controllable, 15-point lead here. Ross looking for King, no problems. Lost his defender there, Ross uh, King. And has a difficult shot to convert his second. Hasn't been the best of night for him by foot tonight. But that was well done. And that's just movement that does that. Back and forth, couple leads. Lead in between a couple.
getting better and better, the Saints, with the way that they deliver the ball to King. Always just sitting it in front of him so that he gets that run and jump at it. Steele. McKenzie. Green. Perryman. Gresham picks it up from 50. Good looking ball. Needs to come back, won't Taylor? Able to swat it through. You've seen those last couple. The Giants have had plenty numbers back, so there's defenders sitting in front of King, but if the kick's good enough and you sit it on top of that defender's head, it's hard for them to be effective if King has momentum. Stand. Got to find a way to get it out of their back half. The ball has lived there now for half an hour. Stand. Whitfield. Play on. Play on. on. Normally creative by foot. Stand. Play on. Play on. Haynes wants to go corridor, but there's just nothing on. Bruce, really good mark. That's a huge mark. That was their only way of exiting Play Play their defensive half with the numbers they had committed. Just had some audio problems. Apologies for that. Hopefully it's all restored for you. Stand. GWS now with a real fight on their hands. They have to kick three goals from here to get in front. The ball has been living in their defensive 50. And that's really good forward heat again from memory. There's just no movement up the field. As soon as you have that switch across the ground, you need your mids and your wingers and your half forwards sprinting to the fat side of the ground so it creates pockets of holes for you to pierce through. As soon as they go that switch, there's just no movement up the ground. Bruce. Green trying to track it down. Ross arrives first. Sinclair. Little one around the body. Battle should get this, and he does. So as each minute goes by, the draining any possible momentum build out of the Giants. They've got to get some reward soon. Crouch, Higgins. Free kick will go to Crouch. Man on the marks at 47 in Tanner Bruin. So Brad Crouch in game 121. Sure whether he'll have the journey here. Looking to give it off. Hill trying to make something happen down there and get someone out of the loop. King's got a good one-on-one. -on -one. The kick was just a little bit lengthy and Flynn rushes it through. Whitfield. Stand. Play on. Not 15. Play on. Kelly. Just a sloppy ball. Goes back and makes it work. Callahan. Green down the outer side. Just to Bruce. Stand. Play on. Must hit the scoreboard, GWS. Goalless third term. Long one from Bruce. Himmelberg's had a really quiet night. Through came Bruin. Green, was he taken high? No, says the umpire. Wow. Thought he was a little unlucky there, JB. Matt, who else? He was down trying to win the footy. Flynn. Battle appealing for the free. Shoveled handball out the back door. Ends with... Wilkie, little smother midair there by Taranto. Went and got it, tried to shake him off as well. Little quick kick back. Plenty of St Kilda jumpers around at the moment. Steele, Webster, standing on the outside at the moment. The Giants, Saints are on the inside, doing all the work. Green, touched off the boot. Throw it in deep. They've got it where they need it. It's just an 18-point margin. It's nothing. But they do need to capitalise. Flynn and battle. Taranto spun around. Didn't quite get the length on it he'd hoped. Taranto needs to give that handball away from goal. He had two or three of the GWS numbers sitting at the back of the stoppage for that exact play. If your back's to goal, give it to your teammate or facing it. Got a ruck advantage here. Flynn. It's Crouch who's able to get it away, and that's a big mark, Gresham. 
had to get that ball to ground GWS and try and hang on to this territory and Gresham thumps it but it doesn't really work over lap run haven't seen much of that in this second half Whitfield just has to pound a long one Toby Green lurking Taranto didn't use him Bruce Howard that's not far enough. Wangaline Malira is taken out. Callahan immediately looking at the umpire then to Matt. see whether he got him in a dangerous tackle or not. Because he was spun, but it was all okay. So the Giants fighting hard here. At their forward end, Flynn, Wanganine Malira. So it'll come back again. I think it'll be a coming three. Thank you. It'll be the young man in fact, Callahan. Penetrating deep ball inside 50. Plenty of orange jumpers around. Taranto again in the thick of it. This time jumping on the back jockey style was Howard and he wasn't going anywhere. I'll tell you what, Taranto's just getting to the right spots. He's had three opportunities in the last couple of minutes. Flynn back. Himmelberg, that's touched as you heard. Relentless at the moment for GWS, but they can't convert it into a goal. The trouble is the numbers around this contest. They've got to find a way to thin it out and create some space. Even if it means you concede the clearance or the stoppage, have some numbers behind the ball so you can win it back and then try and score off that. Repeat forward 50 stoppages here for the Giants. Lean it bounces it out of there. Perryman came through. Green ends up with Whitfield. Great smother applied by Webster. But if this is just a grind, stoppage after stoppage, the Saints will be content with that. So they don't mind the ball living down here so long as they're not getting hurt on the scoreboard. It's yep. the, the Giants that have to try and change the look of the game as it is now. And they've wound three or four minutes off the clock as well, Days. In doing so, Bruce needs someone on the run. Very stationary battle with the little poker that got it 20 metres further away from goal and coming runs over the line. The Giants have had the last 13 hit outs, but it hasn't hurt the Saints. Battle in there. He's doing his best. He's creating as an extra midfielder. That's why they got so much congestion around the stoppage, St Kilda. Just so trying to make it into a fight. I don't know why Bruce is trying to whack the footy rather than put it down the throat of one of his own men. It's more of a hope situation. Here's a good tackle by Himmelberg. I don't think he had any prior, though. The umpire says, yes, he did. He certainly did the moment he put up his arm to fend off and play on and say, there's... The important one. Himmelberg gets his first of the night. It's back to a two-goal game. Jeez, it was hard work. That was real hard work. Well, just a two-goal game now, JB, so it was worthwhile. Yep. If it had gone the other way, it's game over. I know the, the whack out of the hit out was a bit agricultural, BT, but I, I think that's what it needed. It, there's so many bodies in at these stoppages. They'd had three or four good looks at it, tapping it in close, but with too many bodies in there, even if you win it, you can't score and threaten from there. So the, the hit to space to Whitfield... I think that's what the Giants need. They need the ball in motion so they can score and try and run down this lead. Battle goes hard after it. Well done. Bounces it to Haynes, who has a little fumble, but then just thumps a torp. Long and hard to half forward. It gets out the back of everyone. Wilkie. Kelly, left footer. Green hit the belly of the ball. Not 15, so... Himmelberg allows it just to hit the deck. Crouch. Bouncing. Big ball to win here. Ward came through. Bruin. Desperation from Crouch. Ball up. They've got new enthusiasm now, and the Saints are responding and saying, OK, 
We need to use our big man. Now's the time to do it. And they're going to risk him. Canelio. Ward being pushed back. Now they go forward. High footy. Toby Green there in front. Knocked away by Wilkie in the end with a beautiful clearing spoil. Marshall still trying to get on the ground. Can't get on. They get repeat stoppages here. It's going to be hard for whoever's coming off. If it's battle coming off, it's going to be hard to get off here. Flynn to the front. Mason Wood. Steele thought he might have been taken high. Umpire keeps the whistle down. And St Kilda have 16 players within 50 metres of the defensive goal. They're squeezing down to try and make sure there's no easy shots from GWS. Bobby Hill, outside of the boot. Dougal Howard, a simple mark in the end. This is where they need their work rate. If they're going to squeeze everyone down, they need to work out to create options coming out of defence. Can they find a way out? Mason Wood. Just a little chip ball. Wilkie. Back to Long. Long wants to move and strikes it nicely to Higgins. Outside five. Gradually shifting the ball their way. It's been a good last few minutes from the Giants. They've cut it to a 12-point margin. Higgins down the line, looking for Hill. Out the back it comes, couldn't control it. Ash had to go back and find it again. Little handball over the top was beautiful for Windhager. Now Hill goes forward. Getting in the way was Taylor beautifully in front of Marshall. Play on your round, play on. You're not backing Marshall if he's a racehorse just at the minute. Work into the hands of Sinclair. Dribbles it forward. Higgins in a good spot. Wangalin Malira got it back to Higgins. And here's King. Massive arms and stretch. This now a huge kick. Has not been his night in front of goal. One five. From set shots. And he runs around. This looks. Oh, where's that just missed? It did look good off wow. the boot, JP. I was with you. It looked like it was going to grip and come back. He gave it much more of a chance than the other one at the other end of the ground. So now Whitfield Stand. spots Callahan. Looks like a good young player, Callahan. Goes wide to Steen. Stand. Thought about Haynes with the short ball, did Steen. Chips a very, very high ball. Flynn's got a lot to do, and he did it well. Both hands on it, couldn't reel it in. Crouched out the back door to Ward. Onto his wrong side. Worked it back to Wilkie. Wilkie out of bounds on the full. This will be a Haynes free on the wing. Have a look at the Telstra tracker here. Jack Sinclair. He played a bit across half-back and then pushed up into the midfield. 24 touches again tonight. Steen out the back. He had Ward ahead of him. Picks it up now, Ward, and bounces oh. into the post. So they are pressing at the moment, the Giants. What can Sinclair do here? Clow. You. Not so well, Kennedy. Going to be pumped back again. Stay Haven't really got the numbers long and deep at the moment, Kennedy. Stay out. Play on. I'm going to be too predictable, so he hangs it on the head of Flynn. Flynn takes the mark. Good option not to go to the square. He's kicked the couple, Flynn, when they needed him early in the second quarter. He plays on around the corner, and I'm not sure the big man probably should be doing that. It was Himmelberg. Just didn't need it. He's kicked two beautiful shots of goal tonight from set shots. Himmelberg was under pressure. That is a brain fade. Should have called for it. Should have told him to go back and have that set shot. Yeah. 
So you put the responsibility more on Himmelberg? Sp yeah, he, he was standing there calling for it. You're right, Hodge, he's flushed both of his set shots. Mason Wood, that doesn't come off the middle of the boot. King has it belted away from him. Huge seven and a half minutes here for GWS. And even if Flynn was instigating it, Himmelberg should have been no. Leon does not like it. McKenzie squeezed it to Gresham. Here's battle. Long to a 1v about four. Membry picked off by Haynes. Taylor got to dribble it. Well done, Kennedy. Kelly as the Saints bring the heat. Seven minutes left. Do not want to be one and five, the Giants. Long way back from there. Indeed it is, JB. Seven minutes for the Giants to do something about it. Well, the Saints are going to continue on their merry way and march forward. Out the back to Himmelberg. Now he's got Flynn wrong. Lean, it's got to say that a Wilkie it was. Flew well. Payton to Howard. Howard out of trouble with a beautiful kick to battle. Pressure ahead of him. That's Battle's ninth touch and it's going into the ruck. He's hit, he hasn't won the hit outs, but he's been able to get around the ground and be pretty important for the midfield. Windhager. Wobbles at inside 50. And that'll work. How good was Wilkie back there then? Probably saved a goal. Flynn would have marked that if he didn't get back to help. He, he's having a great year. He rarely gets right. beaten. Wilkie, a very, very underrated player in this competition. Bruce Steele in the area. Membry's kick smothered. Kennedy tried to slap it on. Tense and tough in the nation's capital. St Kilda have dropped Hill and Battle behind the ball. They've got two spare. Bruce. Iden. Whitfield. G just got rid of it in the nick of time. That's smart, isn't it, from Brett Ratton? They know now that if they can just lock it in here, in their uh, forward yeah. half and get some yeah, right. repeat stoppages, it's a long way back for the Giants with only, you know, just under six minutes left. Yeah. If they can run two or three minutes off the clock, Richo, here it's great for them. Ross just forced another ball up here for the Saints, and that's what they need to do. It's been a dour night as well, and they've used their sub long ago so they're probably running out of legs just got to hang on here Butler Steele extracts Gresham lines them up got a bit of a wobbler float up and Taylor the defensive spoil so still locked inside as seconds valuable seconds come off the clock 530 remaining need two goals the Giants trying to win five in a row here the Saints set their season right up Ross, Gresham again. Steps through a couple. Webster on the left. Haynes to the front. Bruin just tumbles it out of there. Ross, has that gone far enough? Yes, it has. Take the 30 seconds. Yeah, I said perfect. You're on your mark. I think this is the challenge for the Giants. They often do commit numbers to the, the contest, but now you understand. even if they win it, they're kicking to those extra numbers for St Kilda. As we spoke about, I think if they're to win this game, they have to go and even those numbers up. It'll be tough to win the game if this goes through. Jade Gresham, thumping kick. Is it going to wind its way back? No. Just saw it's this time of the day you want to get the right players on the ground. Now, Josh Kelly's sitting, he's just come off, but I reckon if you're going to win, you need him out there, regardless of whether it's his break time or not. Kennedy, he's found space and goes with the spiral, but look at the St Kilda players get back in numbers. G. Wilkie, a little touchy there. Taranto caught in the tackle, though. 
Richo but Mostim. Got where they need it. Well, Richo Mostim. He's yeah. had a great year. He's turned over that many balls. And then just after Richo gave a big pump up, he fumbled one. So can they conjure something up out of this? Bruce with the thump. Green spills out in the tackle. Gene oh, Whitfield might have got in the back. Well, Bruin it was. And the free will go St Kilda's way. He dropped the mark, Wilkie, but the follow-up tackle was crucial because all you want in that situation for the Giants when you are trying to score quickly is just to get that ball in your forward 50 alive. But the tackle was good enough that Taranto couldn't even get it spilt and moving. Two goals separates the Saints and the Giants. Four minutes left. King out in front. Sam Taylor thumps it over. It's right in the right part of the ground for these interchanges to happen. Look at Kelly Kilda. back on the ground. They've got numbers all around the stoppage. Bruce again with a fist. Cornelio flicks the handball. Taranto. Belted over. again. If you look at St Kilda, they're just going to surround the stoppage. They, they've got to push a couple to their man, though, because the last two times, Bruce has hit a long one outside towards the boundary line. They've got a lot around there. They just need to man up. Canelio's by himself. Goes with a big roundhouse again. And out of play again. I think they know where that one's going now. Maybe try something different. Over here. Even Canelio on the fly, just in front, a soft little... Tap to the front of the chest and go through the front of the stoppage. Butler's got any runner out the back covered, you can see there. Proust now, it's a poor throw in. Mm. Battle, spun out of trouble, had to get rid of it, he knew that. Now Cornelio head down and Steele's got him in a headlock. Ball up again, so 3.25 left in the game. It has been a grind this final term. Proust to the back, McKenzie just... Tried to hack it out of the air. Kelly will want his left side. It wasn't there, so he speculates with the handball. Good tackle, Cornelio. Great and Josh here. High tackle, say Kilda. Arm over his neck. Josh straight to him. Clear out. Nuts here, stand. Breaks the deadlock of stoppages with a free kick. One puts this to bed for the Saints. King in from the side. Higgins, handball to Butler, broken up. Crouch went without it. Taylor, end on end. Taranto had got past him. Sinclair pumps it back in. King just couldn't hang on. What will he do with the ground ball? He has a across the face Haynes has got to go real quick and he does and it needs to be cleaned from Steen and it is but they're not making any ground here Iden very very wide Perryman trying to get underneath that got rid of it in the nick of time but St Kilda doing everything right at the moment that's great pressure from the Saints Lean, I think it was that just did enough to force him to have to dump the ball to a one on one great result from that situation not much Brett Ratton can do from here. Bruce was let go by himself. Green able to pick it off and go very, very wide. Out the back now, Flynn, Wilkie. And uh, runs for the boundary, no problems. Well disguised and we will throw it in again. So down to two minutes and they need two goals. St Kilda. They've just pressured and work rated themselves no, to this lead, St no, Kilda. It's been really impressive this second half. Especially when you consider that they're two ruckmen down. Battle. Iden with a fist. Green a little fumble. Still the Saints persist with this enormous tackling heat. Graydon Josh, guys, keep your meter, please. Got to get something flying out of all of these stoppages. Green, Wanganin, Malira. Gresham, still been enormous again. Minute 33 left. Thank you. 
Got to be pretty well perfect from here. Saints perhaps going to hang on and have win number five under the belt. And what does that do to the Giants' season? Let's see what happens here. Ward to Kelly. Anything can happen. Flynn's there. They've got the big man in the right spot. The punch away to Toby Green. Wants to take Webster on. Webster sticks the tackle. Magnificent. Canelio got a hand on it. Picked up by Tarando. Gives it back to Canelio. Right foot snap for the boundary. It's the post, I think. I think it glanced the post. It did indeed. Boy, oh boy. There was a Whitfield 30 metres out the top of the goal square. Flynn as well. They both went the arms out. The arms out, like it was. Teammate descent, I think. <laughs> Lean it. It's up for Hayes. Bruce to the front. Playoff. Kelly arm held. Holding. GWS. Josh Kelly. Playoff. Got to get it in quick now and just hope someone can hang on. Higgins. And the seconds tick down. This has been a hard-fought win. Hayes going down early. Marshall on one leg. I've loved what Brett Ratton's done. Squash the stoppages. Shut the game down late. Wanganeen Malira. Haynes. Just couldn't get hold of it. Butler. McKenzie. King and Crouch. Ross, the left footer. The placement is good. Higgins takes the mark. He's kicked four. He plays on to Crouch. Crouch kicks the goal. Saints are going to win. Brett Ratton will see his team go to second on the ladder. And a beautiful chain of events. So the revival of St Kilda this year, JB, seems to be absolutely fair income. They've got a tough run ahead, though. Oh, Dave, these are the wins you love when you just guts it out. Comes on tackle pressure and body heat and work rate. He would be so pumped, that man. We had that little inner sanctum vision from last week's win where Brendan Lade spoke about them winning in different ways, and tonight's another example of that. It wasn't the slick ball movement kind of kick mark game where things look great. They had to adjust their game style midway through that first quarter as the Giants really threw a response at them. Won't be long now. This is one that can really set up a season. Touch ball. Won't matter what happens here. Well done, St Kilda. That is a quality win on the road. Season ending knee injury, Rowan Marshall with a ice thigh pad on. Have a look at that. Jack Steele again, superb. Richo, down to you. Thanks, JB. Yeah, Josh, that, that was a really professional win tonight. Five and one, the Saints. Yeah, it was good. Um, I think, obviously, coming over here is always pretty difficult. Um, so, yeah, it was good to come over here and yeah, get the job done. And finding a different way to win. This was a different game tonight. It was a battle, a high stoppage game. Yeah, it was pretty contested. They're always pretty contested. So we just had to crack in. Um, and yeah, it was pretty physical in that, but it was good. How do you enjoy the ruck? 
<laughs> no, nah, I don't really like it, but had to, that's the role you have to play. Um, we're pretty adaptable here, so just trying to do whatever we can to help the team out. It's a great effort, isn't it, really? I mean, you were down to you're both of your ruckmen, unfortunately, Jack Hayes and, and Rowan Marshall out of the game, and it was a tough fought win without those two. Yeah, bloody oath. Obviously, Rowe's Ro a pretty good player, and he, he come in um, with an injury cloud, and, yeah, um, he, he had a fair crack, so, um, yeah, but, yeah, it was a good win. You enjoy being in the back six. I know you went into the ruck tonight, but you're part of a pretty good back six at the moment. Um, yeah, loving it. Enjoy, really liking it at the moment. Obviously, it's good to hone down a spot. Been playing a bit of everywhere. So, um, and yeah, Boris Enright, he's been really good for us. So, yeah, just loving it at the moment. Well done, Josh. Hit and run mission. You're flying back tonight. Uh, yeah, back back tonight. So, yeah, we'll probably get in pretty late. But, yeah, it's a good win. Well done, mate. Congratulations. Thanks, Richo. Despondent Giants, one and five. Not impossible from there, but that's making it tough. We'll be down in the winning rooms, BT and Richo. Hear from the coaches, armchair experts, part of a big Friday night. Still to come. Back to you, Matty. We've got Jack Higgins here, who was in great form. Another four goals tonight. You look like you're really enjoying your footy, Jack. No, nah, loving it. Um, love playing for St Kilda. Love the boys here, and yeah, it's a pleasure to play at the club. It's a good uh, forward line that you're playing in at the moment. You're all uh, mixing in well together, aren't you? No, nah, definitely. It's it's awesome. Uh, Maxi King, I can name the whole forward line. They're all superstars in their own right and playing some good footy moment to keep it going. What's it like playing with Max? It must be predictable as a small forward. The way he launches at the ball, it's always going to spill where you want it as a small forward. Yeah, I play a lot of junior footy against Max. I, always, I was in the opposite team when he's climbing from everywhere. So playing his team, yeah, it's pretty cool. Yeah, mate, when you mark it with about a minute left, 15 metres out, and you can got four goals on the board. You just go back and kick it, don't you? What are you handballing off for? I should have done the old Richo. Turn the back. <laughs> well, you should have. Nah, 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 well done. Thanks, mate. Cheers. Congratulations. <laughs> Cheers, mate. He was the star of the night, Jack Higgins, in what, in the end, was a very, very good win for the St Kilda Footy Club. Any win on the road is a good win against the Giants, who are now one of five. The Saints have won five on the bounce, if you don't mind. If you don't mind, welcome. Friday Night Footy, Fox Post Game, brought to you the mighty Ford F-150. It's coming, 2023. I've got one on the go. You three have missed out, unfortunately, but um, <laughs> we're looking forward to that. Uh, they found a way. It was yeah. an arm wrestle and it was a little ugly at times, but in the end, these can be the most beautiful of victories because at the end of the season, they don't care how you get there. They just care that you do. And uh, that man, Jack Higgins, is our KSC player of the match. I don't think there's any doubt about that. And a low-scoring affair. Ten goals, he kicked four. Should have, he should have kicked the fifth. He should have milked that last one. He could have had a monster bag with some of his misses yeah. in the first quarter too. Yeah. They, they, were, they were shockers, weren't they? But they gutsed it out. That, that's really the only way to describe it. So you, you look at the way they've been able to accumulate their wins so far this year, St Kilda. They, they put 140-odd points up on the board against Richmond from 46 inside 50s. Super efficient. They, they look slick against Hawthorne with their ball use. Tonight was not that. No. Tonight was thump it out in the trenches, just really physical, brutal game, and, and they found a way to get it done. And it changed in the third quarter, Rui, when you yep. spoke about that hilly kick, that left foot kick inside, because up until then, they were just scrapping back and forth, and then he did that little left foot kick inside, got it to Higgins, and he kicked that goal, and they just opened up. They found their mojo from there. Get the fight away too, Brownie. They got themselves into a little bit of a hole there at one stage and um, gave up the lead, uh, and that was on the back of sort of some... Well, I will give credit to the yeah. GWS Giants, I think, who found a way. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, the contest to Jack Hayes, unfortunately, uh, did his ACL in that first half. The bricklayer, he's done a fantastic job this year for St Kilda as a backup ruckman and slash forward. You, you want an insight into his type of mindset. The fact that he, after he'd done it, mm. he ran over and tried to stand the mark. Yeah. I, I think that gives you a pretty good insight. Oh, he's into... a concreter, really. <laughs> Speak nothing less. He's a, uh, he's a yeah. ripper. But that's a big loss. It is. Loss, you know, yeah. Hopefully he gets another contract, really, because I think he's earned that. Yeah, I was going to say, it's four games into his career. It, you know, he got picked up at the start of this mm. year, coming from Woodville West Torrance over in um, South Australia, won a premiership. He won the best on ground over there. So, And he showed um, in his four games for St Kilda, he can play. Left them a bit vulnerable, and then Marshall gets the massive corky. So they're down there two ruckmen. Ryder's not playing, so that's another factor that we take into consideration when we rate the victory. I think they'll be over the moon with this. Five great on the win. Yeah, it was a grinding win, guys. You know, it shows their maturity, and it shows how far they've come. And 
you know, to be able to come and reset at half time, get back on in top in the contest when it looked like the Giants midfield was all over them. Yeah. And even even coming into the week, Brownie, too, a, a lot of people thought, mm, this is a danger game. Yeah. You know, the, the St Kilda are going to be favourites, but the Giants are, are, are a, a different proposition given what they've been through this week. Do you, do you think they're the real deal? Well, I reckon they'll built this song out. You're going to give him some think time, Ed. Saints man, oh, I don't know. Used to be Milne. Used to be Milne.